Hello everybody and welcome to EME 6429. This course is Human Performance Improvement and I'm Dr. Tim Boileau who will be your instructor. The purpose of this presentation is to provide a brief introduction to the course and we'll begin with taking a look at the agenda. Uh, I want to provide a very brief course overview, talk a little bit about the schedule, review some important things to keep in mind regarding navigation for the course, We'll talk about the use of agendas as a performance planning tool uh, for your work in the modules. We'll touch on the assignments, a few words about participation, and we'll wrap up with some final comments. So let's go ahead and get started. By way of course overview, this is actually the first course that you should have taken in the sequence of four HPT courses uh, in the concentration program that you are enrolled in. If you haven't, uh, that's okay. Uh, but this course, uh, I say, is the first in the sequence because it really is at the start of the understanding the HPT model, which is for human performance technology. You'll see by taking a look at the model, and we'll get more into this later on, but this requires systems thinking. And what I mean by that is that when we think of performance, we, need to, we have to look at it from multiple perspectives concurrent with one another. In this course, our focus will be on organizational analysis to understand what the goals of the organization or program are with an environmental analysis, which is what currently exists today. The gap analysis is simply the, the difference between where we'd like to be and where we are actually at. And then uh, once we understand the, the, the problems or the, the gaps in performance, if you will, our next uh, focus is on cause analysis. And that is pretty much the content that we'll cover in 6429. Uh, when we get into other courses, uh, 6426, that gets into intervention selection design and development. Uh, 6427 addresses implementation and change management. And 6428 addresses evaluation. Uh, but it, all that will come later. Again, our focus in this course is really on the first uh, two uh, primary areas of the HPT model in the upper left-hand corner, which is performance analysis and cause analysis. Our course schedule is based on seven modules or lessons. Each module is one week in length. The modules all begin on Mondays and end the following Sunday. Remember, that each lesson includes this course introduction module or, or plus module one. So we're going to be doing things a little bit differently in this introduction, uh, but after that uh, we'll be focusing on a, a single module. And keep in mind that you can see, you can view all the modules uh, by taking a look at your syllabus, uh, the schedule, as well as the uh, format in e-learning. It's also important to keep in mind that you can complete tasks early, but try not to complete them late. In terms of navigation and e-learning, the format will be identical from week to week. You'll come in, you'll click on uh, the appropriate module for the week, and you'll find it is based on four parts. Uh, the first part is an introduction of the module and the specific objectives or learning outcomes for that module. Second, we'll provide a, a brief uh, presentation of the content to coincide with your readings and other assigned activities. Uh, part three, are the activities and assignments that you are being asked to participate in in order to affect learning. And part four is a summary. And we'll follow the same format again for each of the uh, modules uh, going forward. A couple of guidelines or reminders to, to think of is that be sure to review the introduction for the module on day one of each week to make sure that you are grounded and you have a, a plan of attack uh, to complete all the uh, activities that are required. And remember to view the course summary. This is an area that's often overlooked, but it is important just to make sure that you haven't missed uh, important information or uh, takeaways uh, from the module. By way of an agenda, what I mean by this is that I will provide you with a, an agenda, sort of a checklist, if you will, at the beginning of each module. This is a job aid for you to assist in organizing your work. It's 
arguably the single most important uh, document associated with the course because it really affects your learning and how you approach uh, managing your time to ensure that not only are you completing all the activities in the modules, but you are also maximizing the learning opportunities available to that. I recommend that you download the agenda on the first day of each lesson and refer to it regularly to assist in organizing your time. And the agendas include the following items. I list all the tasks in, in the sequence that they should be completed, as well as the optimal due dates for each task. And there is a participation rubric associated with each agenda to give you an, an idea of how I will be assessing your performance and from a participation standpoint for each module. We have three graded assignments in this course. You'll be conducting a performance analysis, uh, applying the techniques and methods described in the HPT model, followed by a gap and cause analysis, and then there will be a take-home exam uh, during the last week of the course. There are instructions and grading criteria, which I will provide uh, it, minimally the week before the due date, and you can also click on the assignments tab to get a preview of the uh, performance analysis assignment and the gap and cause analysis assignment. All assignments must be submitted on time uh, using the, uh, the Dropbox uh, feature in eLearning. Participation in this course is very important, it, not only for your success, but also for the success of your fellow learners that are part of the learning community surrounding this course. Participation counts for the fourth uh, quarter, or, or, or 250 points, of your uh, course grade, and will be calculated at the end of each uh, module or lesson. I try to po post the participation uh, points immediately, just so that you have an idea of where you're at, and, and as a means of feedback to adjust your uh, activities to ensure that you are, are maximizing uh, the benefits of this course. It's also based on completing all assigned activities on or before their stated due dates, and the requirements uh, for participation will vary from lesson to lesson, and this information is also included in the, the weekly agendas. Okay, so in terms of final comments, my recommendation to you is, first of all, to develop a game plan for completing your work, and this, again, is the purpose of the agendas that are provided for you. Try to stay on track, and according to the schedule that's provided, and ensure that you are actively engaged in the course. Be proactive. Don't wait until after the lesson ends or the due date passes to mention problems. Uh, life happens, prob things do get in the way, but we can address them and deal with them uh, always uh, better when we do so proactively as opposed to uh, trying to figure out uh, what to do after you've reached a, you, you've passed a deadline. And as much as possible, have fun in this course. So that's it for me. Um, that's the end of this intro short introduction uh, presentation. Please continue working through the uh, module uh, for this, this week, and I will see you online.